In this video, we're going to take a look at the differences between USB and XLR microphones. And by the end, you'll know which one is right for you. Right here, I've got both the XLR and the USB version of the Audio-Technica AT2020 so that we can run some side-by-side -side comparisons. USB microphones tend to be a bit more expensive when comparing the price of the microphones themselves. However, USB mics actually end up being cheaper when you factor in the cost of the other devices needed to use an XLR microphone. A USB mic usually comes with a USB cable that simply connects to your computer and you connect your headphones or speakers to the microphone itself. USB microphones have a microphone pre-amplifier, an A to D converter, and usually a headphone amplifier built in. On the other hand, XLR microphones don't connect directly to the computer for recording. Instead, an XLR microphone will connect to an audio interface with an XLR cable, and the audio interface will connect to the computer with a USB or a Thunderbolt cable. In an XLR microphone setup, your speakers or headphones will connect to the audio interface instead of the microphone itself. One thing about USB microphones that I find limiting is the fact that every device needs to connect to the microphone. This is nice if you just need a mic for video calls or streaming because all the controls are right there on the microphone and you don't need to reach across your desk to adjust an audio interface. But for me, this is inconvenient because I'm using both a pair of speakers and a pair of headphones, so I would need to constantly swap the cables on the microphone to switch between them. My audio interface has line level outputs for powered speakers on the back and a headphone output on the front with an output volume knob for each of them. If you always plan to use your microphone in close proximity to your computer, a USB mic is fine. USB 2.0 is limited to cable lengths of five meters or less. That's about 16 and a half feet. Whereas an XLR cable can travel hundreds of feet with no problem. And that means you can place the interface near your computer and record microphones anywhere in your room or anywhere in your house for that matter. I can also connect different types of sources to an audio interface, such as an electric guitar or a keyboard, or to use different microphones for different sounds. An XLR microphone and a USB interface are much more flexible compared to a USB microphone. If you want to record music, chances are you'll want to record multiple inputs at the same time. The USB microphone is all you need to record one source at a time, like your voice or an acoustic guitar or a guitar amplifier. But if you want to record your voice and guitar at the same time, you'll need an audio interface with at least two inputs. So if you ever think you'll want to record a guest on your podcast or record yourself singing and playing guitar or record your band, you'll probably want to invest in an audio interface and XLR microphone so that you can expand down the road. A multi-channel audio interface can record each input source to a separate track, which gives you more control over each signal when mixing and editing. Not only do XLR microphones offer more flexibility for recording, but they're also useful beyond just recording. XLR is the industry standard connector for microphones, so you could potentially use your XLR microphone for a mixer at a live performance or with a portable recording device. If you plan to dive deeper into the world of recording and music production in the future, you'll be glad that you have an XLR microphone that will continue to be useful as you expand your setup. Let's listen to these mics to compare the sound quality. Remember, these are identical microphones with the same capsule in each. The difference between them will be a result of the microphone pre-amplifiers and the analog to digital converters. The XLR microphone will be using a preamp and A to D converter that's built into the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface, while the USB microphone will use its own built-in preamp and converter. Right now you're hearing the sound of my voice through the XLR version, the Audio-Technica AT2020. Give me a second, I'm going to go switch the cables so that we can hear the USB version. Now you're hearing the sound of my voice through the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB Plus, the USB version of this microphone. And like I said before, you probably won't hear much of a difference. Mm -hmm. 